Welcome to Reality of Faith and Wisdom. My name is Yuri. Please do not forget to subscribe if you've been watching this channel and leave us a comment. Today, I want to talk about zero trust culture. We live in a culture that we have zero trust in almost everything, every single thing. The world is full of uh, scammers, right? Uh, that just wants to take your money. That just want to take everything that you have. I mean, gosh, how many scammers out, out there? You know, when maybe 20, 30 years ago, or maybe just 10 years ago, when maybe some salespeople will do a cold call, they might have a chance of selling you something if it's a really good product. Today, there's scammers everywhere. You, I don't trust anybody. I don't know about you, but man, cold calls don't work, right? Scammers everywhere. Now we have also deep fakes. Every video that you watch, you never know if it's uh, it's going to be good or if it's uh, if it's fake video. If it's uh, you don't trust any videos, you, you know. Let's let's go further. Let's go to an AI world, right? Now AI is so advanced that you don't know whether someone wrote uh, wrote some poem, song, or story, or if it's AI wrote, right? Everything is fake. I mean, auto tune for our voices, right? If you don't know how to sing, there's auto tune. Uh, you know, if you don't like the way you look, there is photo filter, video filter, there's a fat and skinny fit filter, young and old filter. You can fake your whole life. And that's where we live. That's, that's the culture that we live in today. We do not trust anyone. Think about it for a second. Just think about it. Trust is, is truly everything. I mean, to have friendship, to have future, to have, to have community, or I mean, it's tr trust, but, but this culture pushes, pushing us into this area that we can't trust anybody. Zero. Now, back in the 80s, especially in a smaller town, trust is everything. I mean, people will give uh, you a few chances if you mess up, if you're untrustworthy, but it's going to take you some time to rebuild your trust, right? Maybe trust is given for the first time, but then if you mess it up, it's going to take you to rebuild it. and It's going to take you some time to re rebuild it. But in the 80s, trust is everything. I mean, I grew up in the 80s. That's why I go back to 80s. And especially respect, loyalty, man, it's, it's, you have to have it if you want to live a great life. Today, words like respect, honor, trust, loyalty, even love has no meaning. Now, when it comes to respect, you know, I respect you one day. But I hate you the next day because you said something that I don't like or you told me a piece of truth that I don't want to accept it from you. You know, I will like you one day and I will respect you one day because you do exactly what I want to hear. And then the next day when, I, when you say something that I don't want to hear, oh, that's it. I don't respect you. I'm, uh, it's done. And that's how we live. That's the culture today. Same with honor, trust, and love. Who do we honor today? And who do we, I mean, I thought about, I thought about one thing. Okay, who do we give honor, respect to, you know, we cherish, you know, is, is there something? It's a dead thing that we carry in our pocket, our phones. You see, it doesn't matter how much frustrations your phone will bring, you're still going to keep it near, near you. It doesn't matter how much bad news it will bring, you're still going to keep it, keep it right in your pocket or near, near you. It doesn't matter how much confusion phone brings, headache phone brings, tears, division. Even destroy your life, a uh, mental state. Yet we keep them always charged. We put them in cases so they don't break. We always are close to them, and we can't live without them. See, we don't respect nothing. We respect what we like and believe in the moment. And as soon as that moment leaves, we respect and believe in something else that we like in the next moment. You see, it's the same thing as we scroll through our phones. It's almost been imprinted in our minds, our hearts, our souls. Okay, I don't like this video. I like the next one. I'm looking for funny things. I'm looking for sad things because I'm sad today. I'm looking for the... It's, it's in our DNA. We cherish our phone. We respect our phone. We love and honor them. We don't want to buy another one. They're expensive but even though they bring so much headache. Now, because of all that and because of this culture is like the way I'm explaining it, there's zero trust, zero trust culture, there's no stability. And when you talk to God, and don't tell me about God, right? When you start talking about family, 
No, family, idea of family is gone. No, pursue passion, pursue what you want to do. Go and have sex, you know, 10, uh, 10 times a week. Go, go and have sex and live until you're 35. And then you start thinking about life. I mean, family is, is of yesterday, right? I mean, it's, uh, excuse me, but it's today we are screaming about chop your dick off. And, and put something else in there, then you're gonna be happier. You know, get confused, go live, be gay, be LGBT. That's the happiness. I mean, it's insane that we live in this kind of world. And I don't care if I cuss on this podcast, to be honest, let me tell you the truth, because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. There is no there is no raising kids and living a quiet life. I mean, they're, they're, gosh, you're stupid. Go, because passion, passion, passion will get you nowhere. Passion will get you know, it's the stupidest thing that we ever, ever told our kids. Just pursue your passion. No. Learn respect, honor, understand who you are. And maybe think about the purpose. Think about your life. Man, it's a one life you live. 60 years will go go by like this. You know, when when we're talking about even a job from nine to five, it's the thing of the past. You know, no, nobody wants to work. That's why everybody's hiring. Everybody's lazy as as heck. I mean, they don't want to work. To find an employee that actually will work for you for six to a year, six months to a year, it's almost it's almost impossible. Because people just jump from one thing to another. From one, oh, I don't trust you, I'm going to go to somewhere else. I don't trust you, I'm going to go somewhere else. People are chasing something always, but are never satisfied. Man, chasing always, but never satisfied. Even in our even in our science, science is changing always. Like right, the evolution has already been debunked so many times. But it's it's stupid. I'm not I'm not going there. But it's so stupid that it's easier to believe in that nothing out of nothing came big boom and space and matter and time and, and it came into existence. Right out of nothing. Well, we believe that nothing created everything, and I believe that God created everything. I mean, that's even just just to look at it from this point. I mean how stupid we've gotten. Just put billions of years and everything is fine. Billions of years. That's that's the solutions for everything. A hundred billion years and I came from the warm into human being. It's flipping stupidity. You know, pe- people, information is constantly changing. That's why we can't trust information. Information is is one thing today. Ve- veganism today, you know, something else tomorrow. It's the warrior diet. It's the fasting. It's this. It's that. It's uh, self this, self that, self help. And yet we are the stupidest people that live on the planet Earth today. You see... Who do you believe today? Who do you trust today? People living a double lifestyle. You look at anybody today and you don't even know if, 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 if that person is the way it is, if someone is the way it is and how many demons are inside of them. Man, they can be smiling in one moment and, and being a berserk demon in another moment. And it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And we, we're entertaining ourselves with that on, on social media today. We have zero trust culture today. See, today's here, gone tomorrow. And why, why is that? Why do we live for a moment? Why do we live for Friday night? Why did we got down so miserably into mud and schmuck of this world? You see, let me read something to you and please tell me if this does not describe our society today. Tell me, because these words been written so many a hundred and some thousands years ago out of the Bible and tell me that these words does not describe the culture that we live today. And Proverbs says they rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. It's exactly. I mean, if you don't like the, the president, if you don't like and the nominee, if you don't, man, we go loot. We go break stores. We go, we show our real colors. We become stupid as monkeys today. That's what the Bible has written so many years ago. And Job, it says they, they will think their prosperity is of their own doing. Oh, look at me. Look how much I've done. Yet you live one life and you will leave it. Every single thing. Everything that you can, you will get it. It's not yours. You will, you will get rid of it. And in Ecclesiastes 5, it says, make 
uh, they make a promise they, they cannot keep. That's the world today. They cannot keep the promises that they were, that they've made. Now, in, in 2 Timothy, it says, for people will love only themselves and their money. That's exactly every single social media. I'll follow me. I'll tell you how to be rich. I'll tell you how to be successful. People will only love themselves and how great they've done. It says in the Bible that they will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful. Exactly the people that we live, that we live today. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving, unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. Control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious and that's exactly happening today and they will reject the power that can make them godly. Stay away from people like that. That's what the Bible says. Stay away. You don't even need to associate with those people. But that's exactly describes the culture of today. In the last day, in 2 Peter chapter 3, it says this, in the last day, scuffer scoffers will come mocking the truth and following their own desires oh my gosh that's exactly happening today they will say what happened to the promise that jesus is coming again ah, it's the it's the things of yesterday from from before the times of our ancestor everything has remained the same since the world was first created they deliberately forget forget that god has made heaven long ago by the word of his command and he brought the earth out of the water and surrounded it with water I mean, it's exactly the, the culture that we live in today. Let me read a few more because it's, it's crazy how the Bible describes today. It says, in the last day, in Jude chapter 1, in the last times, there would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their, their ungodly desires. The LGBTQ and all the gender issues that we have, there it clearly says, in the last times, they would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. And, and then, then, then we do the, the whole, the whole trans, 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 transaction, man, trans, trans people. Let me just say it in the end. This way, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But, but man, they go, oh yeah, that's going to make you happy. And then statistics say that they're, they're not happy and 40% of them, they're committing suicide. Oh, so something else happen, will make you happy. I mean, this is what the Bible says. Guys, this is what's written in the Bible and we live today. It's, it says these peoples are the ones who are creating divisions among you. Man, family is nothing. You know, they want to teach my kids and, and with all the drag queens and all the things that's happening, I want to teach my kids, the one I'm raising, the one I'm putting the, my life into, in, to be stupid like they are. I'm sorry. They follow their na natural instincts because they do not have God's spirit in them. We're reverting back to animals. Gosh, it's not enough that if eventually, well, it's already happened that one guy wanted to marry a goat and then it's going to, it's the sin will never satisfy you. There's zero trust culture. You just, you just kill, you steal, you mock, you, you, you just say whatever comes to your mind because the things of yesterday is almost gone. Here's another thing what the Bible says in 1 Timothy 4, it says this, and the last time some will turn away from the true faith. They will follow deceptive spirits and teaching spirits and teaching that comes from demons. I mean, and even in church, even Christianity, man, swayed into the left and into uh, liberals and, and all these. Let's accept everybody, man. And it'll never stop. These people are hypocrites and liars, and they and their conscience is dead. They will say it is wrong to be married and wrong to eat certain foods. It's exactly what it is. But God created those foods to be eaten with thanks by faithful people who knows the truth. Man, it is just insane how correct bible is how on point bible is in matthew 24 there was there was the end um in noah's time and when god flooded the whole world end came and let me tell you another end will come another end will come and i'm not talking about just jesus coming back Sometimes your world will stop like, like, like mine stopped in 2007. Sometimes because of our decisions, the world will, some, will stop. Sometimes we will push ourselves into despair, into depression, into anxiety with all of the passions that we are running. And in the Bible, it says in those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah enter the boat. And one day Jesus also will come back. And all these things will stop in a moment. 
They can stop any day because of our choices that we make. But they will stop also in the moment. Everything will stand still. And all the passions that we, we're desperately chasing because I'm not happy. All the, there's times going to be I'm not happy. It's fine. It's okay. I understand the truth. I understand that I, I, I'm, a, I'm a husband. I'm a, I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a, I bring life into this world. I, br- I, I, I bring, man, I bring good into this society. Not, not suicide, depression, confusion, and passions. You see, right up to that time when Noah entered his boat, and the same time will come. And it will come, I think, sooner than we think. You see, think about one last thing before I finish this. Think about the, the things that we watch today. Think about all, all the movies already predicting the end, the, the catastrophe, that the, 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 stero- uh, the uh, a rock's gonna hit us, this, you know, from outer space, and, you know, this will collide. All the movie predicts the end, predicts like, oh, even Marvel movies, right? All the movies about zombies, all the zombie filters today, like, man, uh, why is that? People believe in zombies more than they believe in gods. I mean, it's crazy. There's no common sense. And everything thing that you watch predicts the end. I mean, you go to social media, you, you'll, get, you'll get to that. It predicting the end. Predicting. Why is that? Because that's where we're exactly where we're going. And let me finish with this, with this story. You see, in 19, I grew up in Ukraine. And in 1980s, I was a child of 80s. And all my, in those days, and you know, I, Ukraine was under co- communism, under Russia. And in those days, Everybody was saving. Everybody was, 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 were, they were believing that one day they will live a better life. And they, they were saying, my mom was saving every dollar. They were, trying, they, they were trying to save something for the better tomorrow. And I remember in 1990 when, when finally the, the Iron Curtain fell and, and communists fell apart. Every savings account, every bank account, all the bank, all the bank across whole Russia failed. Everyone failed. My, my mom had equivalent of three new cars in her savings in her whole life savings. My aunt had more. My grandma, everyone lost it all. Everyone lost. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is, is, is not promised. What you have is today and how you live your today. How you live it? I'm not saying don't save. Yes, be save. Understand financial literacy. Go to become a better man. You know, understand what is your purpose in life. Live a meaningful life. Love God, man. Live and 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 really contribute to society instead of tear it apart. Because as in 1990s, everything. It's like in the days of Noah, every bank account failed, everything, country failed. Let me tell you, same thing might happen in the United States. Because the United States went so far, so far from what it used to believe in. It teaches all the pornography comes from the U.S. All the confusion comes from the U.S. All that means so, or not maybe all, but most of it comes from the U.S. And I, let me tell you, if we're going the way we're going, one day everything will stop. Just like in 1990s, just like in days of Noah. The only thing we have is to believe in Jesus, to let him direct our steps, to delight in our godly living and, 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 to, and, 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 and the breath that you have and a gift of life. To trust God because he will bring right people that we can trust in, bring accountability, bring free freedom. Even though we live in a zero trust culture full of confusion and stupidity, yet I am living a life full of satisfaction, full of peace, full of joy. And it doesn't matter what's happening around me. I know who I believe in. And I know because of God, I can have a beautiful today. And, and, and when he guides me, my future is in his hands. And he will never fail me nor forsake me. Thank you for watching this podcast. I hope your heart was stirred up. I heard you started, I, I'm, 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 I'm hoping that you started thinking about the culture that we live, the zero trust culture that we live in today. And I'm hoping that you will start analyzing a little bit. It's not your passion. It's not just what your flesh wants. Bible says the three things, three evil doors, the desire of your eyes, the desire of flesh, 
and the pride of life. That's where all the evil comes from. And that's exactly what we see today. The desire of our flesh, the desire of our eyes and all the pornography that's in the world and we're never satisfied and we want more and demons controlling our mind and heart and soul. And eventually, if somebody wants to tell, tell you that you're wrong, pride kicks in. Who are you to tell me how I should live? The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. Wake up, people. Wake up and let's, let's bring back the things that America used to stand for. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine and you be gracious to you. Turn His face towards you and give you His mighty peace. Amen.